Bedford Blues suffered disappointment in their final away match of the season as they lost out 25-19 to Doncaster Knights at Castle Park last Saturday. The hosts were the first to put points on the scoreboard through Latu McCarthy as the back row forward spotted a gap down the blind side to bundle over the line giving Doncaster the lead. A penalty for Dougie Flockhart in the 36th minute saw the Knights extend their lead to 10-0. With just minutes to go until half-time, Bedford were determined to register a score and after turning the ball over, went on the attack. The Blues worked the ball along the line to find fullback Stefan Jones who grubbed the ball forward with Dean Adamson chasing down the kick and diving across the line to narrow the gap to 10-7 at the interval. The second half didn't start as planned for Mike Gray's men as Doncaster got their second try just minutes in. But the Blues responded 10 minutes later with a second try of their own. A well-taken line-out saw the forwards drive towards the whitewash with the experienced Paul Tupai marshalling and grounding the ball for his 14th try of the season to trail by only three again. The final try of the match went the way of the Blues who with only 14 men as Hayden Thompson Stringer sat anxiously in the simbin fought their way back gallantly showing plenty of determination and quality. As the clock ticked down a quick tap from Harry Wells saw him tackled just metres from the line before recycled ball found captain Nick Fenton-Wells, who sold a great dummy before flopping over the line for the Blues' third try.